I notice that a lot of socialists, well, fake socialists, that's what I'll call them, they're fake socialists, and they basically criticize capitalism for being materialistic or consumerist, which isn't a good argument because it doesn't understand what socialists' main arguments are and what capitalists' main problems are under the eyes of socialists. The capitalists' main faults the fact that people who are socialists view capitalism as the structure, not even just socialists, just anti-capitalists, to see it as a structure of consolidation. That's a word that I've repeated a lot. It's a very good key word. They view it as a structure of consolidation and not as some heavy consumerist thing. You see, the socialists usually don't have problems with the rich. They have problems with those who have wealth. That means that they don't have a large, it's not en enough large income or high amount of money or resources, It's or access to resources. It's how you can consolidate, how you can keep people weak, essentially, around you. And if you view it this way, then you can argue that socialists view capitalism as something that isn't naturally Darwinistic as people make it seem to be. Because they see that these wealthy people are creating barriers to entry right now in the United States, doing all sorts of crap, which if you blame solely on the state, then that'll lead to some problems with them because they will say that oh well the state's just another corporation of the capitalists and they'll get into all sorts of mumbo jumbo what's the main point if your main arguments anti-materialism for and that's your main argument against capitalism then you shouldn't be a socialist because if my main argument against the state was that I'm anti-conformist conformity, then I'm not an anti-statist. I could become considered a crazy liberal, just as these people could be considered primitivists to some sense. Either way, they're full of shit, and I respect the socialists, the real socialists who don't get into these anti-materialistic arguments. Overall, everything, I think I said everything that needs to be said, really. Again, you call yourself a socialist because you're against consumerism, you're not a socialist. Socialism considers capitalism to either be naturally statist or because of all the consolidations irresponsible and in need of the state so it's one or the other it has to do with the consolidations it doesn't have to do with consumerism socialism societies could be considered more consumeristic than other ones so I don't understand what the fuck that argument comes from. Alright, this is like four minutes. I'll end it here.